And it touches free life. I'm telling you, I believe this morning everything was coming up against me. I, oh my God, I, you mean you ain't gonna get here this morning? <laughs> Praise God. Don't feel so well in my body this morning, but nevertheless, because of this living water and because of this great hope of the saints of God that God has given us that we can have. I'm here. Amen. I'm here. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And I just thank God for this little speck that he's shown us in this lesson about this river. Hallelujah. And everything that when Ezekiel uh, uh, saw it in, 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 in his vision that God showed him and that water went out and it ran portion in the Mediterranean Sea and the other in the Dead Sea where there ain't no light. Glory to God. It's just a dead. But when this water, just, just envision this water trickling down. Woo, glory to God. And everything that the water hit, life began to spring forth. Living things begin to take place. In because of this water, the power of the water. And we're looking for God to touch us this morning yeah. with that living water. <laughs> that the Holy Spirit will breathe down on us. Praise God. And whatever it is that we're connected to that we need to be loose from. Yeah. Woo, glory to God. Woo, that with this living water, glory to God. Coming down from God, touch our lives. We'll be delivered and we'll be set free. Glory to God. I don't know how much time we have left, praise God. You don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. So that's the thrust of the lesson, saints. Praise God. And we'll never understand the whole spectrum of things, end time things, but as we learn, we can thank God and go forth. But nevertheless, don't worry if you don't understand this little bit and don't understand that little bit. It all come together. And, and, and you and I will end up in the right place, mm -hmm. regardless. Because there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle. But God's love for us is so great that we'll never understand it. Glory to God. But it's real. It, it's, it's real. And God is so dynamic. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. I love him. Don't you love him today? Don't you love him for what he's done? And even when you get saved, after you give your life to the Lord, we still have hardships. We still have afflictions. We still have down days. Praise God. But nevertheless, the living water is in us. Because the Bible said, out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know, with an old well, when you got to pump a well to get water to come up. <laughs> Praise God. You keep on pumping, it'll come up. Yes, but with this water that's within us that God has given us, how do you get the water out of the well, saints? Somebody tell me. It's in there, but you need it, but how are you going to get it? Pump it up. Terry said, pump it up. <laughs> how are you going to pump it up? Study the word. What else? The Bible, the Bible speaks of one main word that'll get it up. Joy. With joy, we draw water out of the wells of salvation. And how are we going to crank up the joy? Think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me and you. Amen. And I declare you get to thinking about the things that God has done for you and me, something start happening. <laughs> Tears start flowing. Emotions start rising. Your mouth begin to open and say hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Oh bless the name of God. And so you draw that water out in times of despair, in times of sickness,
and whatever you're going through with, praise God, that you feel like you ain't going to make it. You're going to make it because the devil is alive. But the Bible tells us in the word of God that the devil is alive. His destination is hell. Glory to God. But our destination is to live with God. I'm so thankful, praise God, for the lesson today. Turn to the Lord as your soul thirsts for him. He will give you that living water, that water that will cause you to thirst no more. That living water will bring about healing and all manner of deliverance in your life. Try him. If you haven't tried him, try him today. I would leave this place, praise God, if I won't say it. Because the rapture could take place any time. Now the rapture, when it comes, is not the, is not the second advent of Christ. The rapture, when he comes, his feet won't even set feet, he won't set feet on earth. But the rapture, he'll catch us up. But the second advent is when he actually comes back and sets his kingdom up on earth. Oh, what a glorious day. Oh, what a glorious time. Live right, saints. Do, do the right thing in the midst of your everyday living. To God be the glory. Amen. God bless you. Amen.